snowed in and without a home. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Jennifer Hoff. What created a winter wonderland for us created a freezing nightmare for the area's homeless. New at 10 o'clock, the night team's Danica Lewis talks to some of the people braving the elements because they have nowhere else to go. Well, Jennifer, most of us got to admire this 20 inches of snow and everything that it covered from the comfort of our own homes. But for those who rely on tents or shelters or maybe even live on the streets, it can be a cold and brutal winter. This was a hellish storm. That blizzard covered the Token Creek Park campsite in an unwelcome blanket of white, which meant days of this. Digging out. To tunnel to the tents. To add the harsh weather out here, it's primitive. It's living primitive. Franjo Maestrich was able to get inside during the storm. Only three of the 30 homeless campers braved it. But even though the snow is no longer falling, it's making the roughing it rougher than usual. Pretty much trying to just keep everything dry as possible. It's only so long that you can stay out there in the elements. Just to give everyone access. To That's why Nathaniel Abrams Jr. Wow. works at the new day shelter on East Washington, finding any way to keep people warm. I was homeless for seven years myself. And I have lost quite a few friends out here. More than 120 people came in the day the blizzard hit for a bite to eat and an escape from the cold. This is a relief for some people, you know, to get up off these streets for a minute. No buses on snow covered streets adds another challenge for those with no way to get around. People who don't have vehicles just relying on public transportation, and when it doesn't run for two days, that's a huge drawback and people ended up feeling stranded or ending up having to spend what little money they do have for a cab or something just to move around inside or out winter has only just begun it's very difficult hard life to live now with transportation being so important as you heard the shelter is actually asking for month-long bus passes if you want to donate, volunteer time is also very much in demand over there. And you may be wondering why those folks camping out there don't seek other means of refuge. Well, I did ask them that, and they told me that there's not enough affordable, fair housing out there, and added that they would rather bring or take on those elements rather, Jennifer, than uh, suffer through or, or kind of live through the challenges that shelter life. Uh, comes with as well. Sure, and thank you for sharing some of those uh, different ideas on ways to help some of those people. Sure, Danica. absolutely.